Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Hardcore Nuzlocke here in Brilliant Diamond. Today we are continuing our way to Velstone City, uh, making our way down yet another route. Uh, if you missed last episode, those two routes were so dangerous. Uh, so hopefully this route isn't as bad. We did already get our encounter. It was a Cadaver. We have a Bronzor coming out here. Um, this is also the first episode uh, since the, the upload change that I've recorded. So just to give you a, uh, a heads up if you haven't seen that already, uh, the Brilliant Diamond Nuzlocke will now only be coming out on Tuesday and Thursday, just because it's it's a lot. So level 21, ooh, that's scary. Dark Fire, Ground, and Ghost. Dark Fire, Ground, and Ghost. Um, we could go Bruce and get an Astonish off. Um, or we go Sparky. Our level cap... Uh, I do apologize for not remembering off the top of my head. Our level cap is 30. So we do need to be careful with that. Um, let's go, Bruce. Let's go, Bruce. This is a hardcore. There is no healing. There is It is set battle. Uh, so we got to be careful and hopefully not lose any mons. We haven't lost a mon just yet. Confuse Ray. Not a great start. It at least doesn't damage us immediately, but it could cause us to damage ourselves. So, do we outspeed here? The Astonish isn't, while not being a super high power move, being super effective, we can probably do 30 points of damage maybe if we hit. Uh, and we could also flinch, which is kind of what I'm hoping for. That's okay damage. Does it get, We don't get the flinch. They go for payback. That's going to do... Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. I was expecting that to do more. Um, if we could snap out of Confuse, we can go for Supersonic and Confuse them as well. <sighs> well. Let's go for the Astonish again. Don't hurt yourself, Bruce. You've got this. Okay, another Astonish off. We could get the flinch. Great damage. Uh, they go for Gyro Ball. This should do too much, because we don't. there's not that much of a, a weight difference here. Um, snaps out of Confusion. Perfect. Um, which means next turn they are probably going to go for another Confuse Ray. Um, do we get the flinch? We still don't get the flinch. Ah, oh, they go for Confusion again. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. They go for Confusion, not Confuse Ray. Uh, it has the chance to Confuse, but it doesn't. Uh, we get off the other Astonish. Just starting things off spicy with a, uh, not, like a semi-intense battle, I guess. Uh, let's see. Howard gets a level and Mysterio gets a level. Uh, Howard, I'm really loving Howard. Also... Uh, last uh, couple episodes ago, I did incorrectly state that uh, Golduck is a dual type evolution. They are actually a. <laughs> they just stay a pure water type. Uh, which I just didn't realize. Shield on weak to fighting water and ground. <laughs> um, Which actually, Howard could come in. Level 23. Howard could come in. Um, I almost typed in Howard into. I just need to see. Psyduck's uh, full weaknesses out because weak to grass and electric didn't know if we resist anything. Let's go, let's go, Howard. Let's go, Howard. Let's get them out here. Uh, see if they could potentially take one hit from something. I, I don't know what their moveset is. Um, effects of weather disappear it doesn't really affect us. They go for taunt. That's fine. That's a great first move. Psyduck falls for the taunt. And whatever the water pulse should be some decent damage. We outspeed. Great damage, actually. Uh, they go for takedown. How much does this do to us? A little over 12. They take the recoil damage. Now, I believe with taunt, that means we can't use the same move in the row, right? No, we can. What does taunt do? Pokemon move taunt. Uh, taunt makes the afflicted Pokemon unable to use status moves. That's what it is. Can't use status moves. Okay, that's fine. What am I thinking of that you can't use the same move? I know there's the ability Truant. I don't know what I'm thinking of. Hey, but that is one fight down as we continue our way. Like I said, it is... I, I know that this game is going to get a little scarier as we continue further in. Uh, so I'm just waiting for that scariness to happen. We got ourselves an Aether. That could be very helpful to us uh, late game to, to get back some of our moves. We're honestly just going to do the best we can to just make it through this route. Because um, I truly feel like with the current team that we have, the current high-level mons that we have, we can do a decent job in this gym. But I uh, still would like to get everyone else a little balanced out here. Alright, Derek's coming out with Krogonk. One day, I promise you all, 
I am going to just have pe different move sets memorized. Um, Krogonk is weak to four times weak to Psychic. Beautiful. Zen Headbutt it is. We outspeed. And a one shot. Because Poison Fighting and, and both of those are weak to Psychic moves. I need to just study. I need to just study uh, type effectiveness and get myself like a little graph. It'd be great. No, it'd be terrible. I would hate it. I would hate it so much. Bum, bum. All right, up here. Um, cutting through that, I think, just makes us. Yeah, I really don't know why you why you cut up there. You can just walk through. Here we get an item. I did miss that one item back there, but it's it's probably fine. Also, just how excited we are. We are like a month away from. Legends Arceus. I am so, 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 so excited. They actually just announced today at the time of this, uh, today at least as far as this recording goes. Actually, it'll be uh, yesterday when you all see this episode. Um, if you have, uh, if you have Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl uh, save data on your Switch, um, then playing Legends Arceus, you will unlock an event to get Darkrai, just like in BDSP. If you had Let's Go or uh, Sword and Shield, you get a Mew or Jirachi, respectively. Which does has me does have me thinking. If you get um, if you get Legends Arceus, I'm wondering if having Legends Arceus save data is what will unlock Arceus in BDSP. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm thinking it will unlock a an event so that way because they have all the plates around. Arce Arceus is so big in Gen Four. I feel like that's what happened. Let's go for Water Pulse. They're both effective. See if we can potentially get them confused. Because we're taking a lot of damage here. We're going to have to switch out of Howard here in a second. Okay, that's almost a kill. They have one more Mon. So we're going to have to switch as soon as the next Mon comes out. What if... Next Mon could have, like, Pursuit or something. But I, we don't know what the next Mon... Uh, we don't know what the next Pokemon is going to be. I wish we could heal. Okay, they go for Growl. Okay, that's great. Because um, that just gives us a free turn here. Gives us a free turn here. Because that doesn't even doesn't even affect us. Because we're planning to switch out anyways. Alright, Glam Meow goes down. What do they come in with next? Um, Kadabra. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. Kada Kadabra, Kadabra is scary to me. Just because it's trying to catch that one earlier. The fact that we can't heal. Um, two times weak to dark, two times weak to ghost. I don't think we go Bruce. I think we just go Sparky. I think we just go Sparky and go for a bite. Pull back, Howard. Go Sparky. All right, what you got for me, Cadaver? Well, Intimidate won't matter because special attacker. They use okay. That's just, that boosts their special attack, I think? Or no, 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 it drops my special defense. Oh no, it drops my accuracy. Hmm. Alright, they go for Reflect, which I believe that uh, lessens the uh, physical moves, yeah. We hit it, though. I uh, Without that Reflect, we probably would have killed. That's fine, they're going to drop my accuracy again. Two-time accuracy drop. Uh, potential for Bite to miss here. There it is. I'm going to drop my accuracy again. And then I also have Reflect. They haven't used a damaging move yet. But this is a great setup, though, to get me to not be able to even hit them. They go for Psy Beam. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot. Uh, I believe a crit kills me. I think a critical hit kills me. Um, Mysterio, you... You, you resist Psychic, I believe. You resist Psychic. Yeah, 0.25. So let's actually go to you. You have less health, but if they go for Scythe again, you're gonna you're gonna eat that. Um, even though there is that level difference there. You'll eat it. Okay, they're gonna drop my accuracy. Dang it. <laughs> Quick, go up for the accuracy drop. Alright, we need to use whatever our move has the highest accuracy. The Reflect wears off. Doesn't really matter. Payback is really what we're looking for, which it's a hundred. Let's go for it. They go for side beam. We'll eat this. Yeah. 
half, nine points of damage. Only one accuracy drop, so we do get the hit. Cadaverous KO'd. Whew, that was that was a that was a rough one. Another route of terrifyingness. Howard and Mysterio both get a level. Mysterio wants to learn hypnosis. Yeah, let's drop. Ah, oh, that's a that's a tough choice, actually. You know what? We might drop Confuse Ray, because Confuse Ray just confuses. Um, and Gyro Ball is going to be great, especially once we become a Bronzong. So let's drop Confuse Ray. And I believe we are very close to Velstone at this point. Howard, it's level 24. Do you want to learn anything? Let's learn Aquatel. Aquatel, I believe, always goes first, right? Uh, the user attacks by swinging its tail as if it were a vicious wave and a raging storm. Maybe I'm thinking of a different move that always goes first. Um, let's drop Fury Swipes. Let's drop Fury Swipes. Water Pulse, I don't know if I... Water Pulse is nice because it does have the ability to... To confuse. But, you made me lose my confidence. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry for you losing your confidence. Oh, wait, What? The surprise! The surprise fight I'm not ready for! No, Dennis! Dennis, you're such a menace! Monferno, ah, uh, I wish... I wish Howard was better healed. Oh, no. Oh, no. Every... Howard's just so super effective. Um... No, Mysterio Steel type. You're weak to fire. Um, we could go to our own Caesar. We could go to our own Caesar and just go and just have a punching contest. I'm just so afraid Howard isn't gonna outspeed. We could look at. Well, let's look at our own Caesar. What is your speed stat? Your speed stat is 52. But you also have a negative speed speed stat, whereas Howard is a 36. Yeah, we don't outspeed you. We don't outspeed you. Um, so let's just go to Caesar and hope that they go for something that we can take from. We'll see what happens here. Alright, they go for taunt. Okay, that's fine. Just no status affecting. Um, and then we're just gonna go for power up punch and boost my own attack. Because I know we're not gonna one shot with mock punch, so we'll just boost our attack. Alright, they go for leer, which drops our defense. Um, and then I think we go mock punch. So with the attack, with the attack boost, I think we have a good chance of killing. Yeah. Um, all right. Who else you got for me? What else you got for me? Sparky grows to level twenty-seven, getting very close to that level cap. Gyarados, <laughs> Gyarados why are you here? Why are you here, Gyarados? Ah, oh, Sparky's on so oh. This is not good. We can't heal. No one else has an electric move. We can't heal, which means we come in and Sparky gets hit. This is not good. This is really not good. You don't resist water. Um, cause why would you? I need someone who resists water. I don't, other than, than Howard. Um. I really don't know what our, what our play is here. I really, truly don't know what our play is here. <sighs> John Cena. I gotta go for someone who, I mean, he doesn't resist it, but he also isn't weak to it. Um, and he has the most health right now and is a higher level, so could maybe do some damage. They go for Ice Fang. Oh, thank you for avoiding the attack. Thank you for avoiding the attack. This thing's got to outspeed me, so we're going to go Revenge. Bite. Okay. Ten points of damage. That's beautiful. Okay. Not much better off. Um, it's really all we got, so we're just going to keep going for Revenge. We're just going to keep going for Revenge. They're dropping my defense, which is fine. As long as they bite me, we're good. And then we can run back to a Pokemon Center. 
They go for a waterfall. First death. Are we about to have two? Oh, come on, Sparky. You have Sparky, you have you've got to You've gotta do this. You've gotta do this. Oh, they outspeed. We avoid the attack. Thank you for avoiding the attack. That sucks. That really sucks. Caesar grows to level 27. That wasn't great, Dennis. That wasn't great! Did we win? Did I win, Dennis? I don't think I did. I don't think I won that, Dennis. I don't think I did. Is there a, is there a rival battle as soon as we walk in here? I'm trying to think. I don't think there's a rival battle when we walk in, but I have to Google it first to check. No, we're good. We're good. No, uh, no rival fight. I didn't think there was, but I was like, I, sh I, I gotta check. I gotta check. That is just... Man, I am our first actual death of the Nuzlocke. That's... I didn't want it to be John Cena. But of, of everyone, we at least still have fighting coverage from, from Monferno. And I really didn't want to lose Monferno. But man, John Cena was going to do so much for us. Jirachi, uh, you weren't technically dead. Oh, this, I, Badoof, this was, I, I used them as a trade mon to trade out something um, to another game. So this will be... Our dead box. You know, it's like a, it's it's like a, it's you know, it's a fun little place where they can. There's water. It's you know, it's their afterlife. So who do we bring in to replace the loss of John Cena? So we already have psychic coverage. Um, we have we have water coverage. So much water coverage. We can go back to Vanya. Bring in a bug type. I really think what we need to decide is who's going to be most useful for us in this next fight we're about to go into, in this next gym. Um, a flying... Something flying would do well against uh, Metatite. Uh, flying would also do well against Machoke. And that that's two people. So I think... Because we have no flying coverage on the team other than Bruce. And Bruce right now, I don't even believe, has a flying type move, right? No, doesn't even currently have a flying move, so we could teach them one. We also do have access to TMs now, now that we're in Velstone City. So Caesar will be getting flamethrower. We can also teach Psychic to some people. Um, but I think we bring Amber onto the team. I think we bring Amber the Star Raptor onto the team. Um, or we could bring Omen onto the team. Because also a flying type, also a dark type, which could be fun. Because just, just to throw it out here... What is, uh, how do I, also Storm Drink. Super luck, though. This Pokemon is so lucky that the critical hit ratio is, so we can have a boost to crits. Kinda, kinda worth it. And do the Dark Flying type, um, they are, they are immune to psychic attacks, um, which only is really helpful for, uh, Metatite. But for Lucario and Machoke, um, the resist uh, they're resistant to dark. Steel one time, Ghost is 0. 0.5. Um, fighting is point is one. I I think honestly Machoke is the play, but they are level ten. They are level ten. That's the only thing. So I'm gonna have to level them up. So here's what we're gonna do. This is where we're gonna call this episode. I expected this episode to be longer. We spent. All we did was walk up. A, all we did was walk up a route. That's all we did. And it took us twenty minutes to make it up that route. Terrifying. Absolutely unnecessary that it took us that long to get here. That is just the worst. So, 
next episode, we will be taking on the Velstone Gym Challenge. Um, I'm going to get everyone who isn't currently already up to level 25. Uh, we're going to put you here because we're obviously not going to grind with them, first and foremost, considering they are level 10. We're going to let them just take some XP. I'm honestly going to box these two so that way they don't get XP. And then I'm going to get all of these up to level 25. So that's what we're going to do. Our first death. Uh, I hope you all are enjoying this series. Uh, I hope you all have a great day. And I will see you next week, Tuesday, 2 p.m. EST for Bellstone City Jam. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.